Good morning, Hope Community Church family. This is Pastor Zeff with today's devotional thought. We are focusing on post-resurrection happenings. And today we would like to focus <clears throat> on Peter. And, um, and what we would like to talk about is that if we remember that Peter denied uh, Jesus three times and uh, and of course, he was devastated by all of this. He was disappointed in himself. And uh, I want to share um, a verse or two of scripture, a words of encouragement to him. And this is when the ladies went to the tomb to anoint the body of Jesus. And um, there was this young man there who appeared to be like an angel, said to them to go tell his disciples and... Peter. And I think that that was very, very encouraging to Peter when he heard those words, because the special mention of his name, in spite of the denials and in spite of his shortcomings, Jesus had not disowned him. De Jesus has not deserted him. And um, he showed Peter that he still cared for him. And uh, and he was encouraged to say the least. Oftentimes, life throws a curveball to us and we have come short. Uh, we have disappointed Christ. Um, uh, we have sometimes bring shame and disgrace to his name. And sometimes we wonder if he still cares or love us. My words of encouragement to you today, like the words went out to Peter, that Jesus still loves, he still cares, and he wants to forgive, and he wants to restore us back to that relationship which we had with him. So let's be encouraged today that our mistake is not the end of who we are and, and our goal in life uh, to walk with Jesus, that we can pick up ourselves from there and move on with Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you again uh, for all that you have done for us. And thank you for your, your love, your goodness. And in spite of God, of how we have come short, we know that you still love us and you still care. So help our folks today to remember that Jesus is always there with us. If only we will reach out and touch him. And he would forgive us and he would restore us back to that relationship. In Jesus' name, amen.